What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and today we're down here in Dallas, Texas installing the Samsung 75 inch 900R. This is a 8K QLED and we're going to be installing this in this home here in Highland Park. This is going to be going in the master bedroom. I'm going to do two things. We're going to unbox the unit and then we're going to install it on the wall and I'll show you what the picture looks like installed. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we got the TV into the home and this is the location where we're going to be mounting the TV. Um, you can see there's already a bracket up on the wall and Frank is working on getting the new um, uh, high quality HDMI's put into the wall. Right now we're pulling out the old HDMI's which were uh, version 1.2, or sorry, 1.4. And we pulled down the old Pioneer Elite TV that was up here and we're gonna be putting this 900 series right here in its place. There's an Ankiya receiver that we had put in last year and this is DHCP 2.2. It's a RZ610 basic seven channel receiver powering up these in ceilings that we put in years ago this is a returning customer it's just a 5.1 and it has a little eight inch woofer over here she also has a sonos she can pipe her music into this room so um, we're going to go ahead and get these cables ran you can see we also have a cat cable we're going to be using that for ir we're going to be using a pro control a universal remote system which will give the customer the ability to control all of these devices with one button press i'll show you the process as we complete the work okay guys so a couple things um you can see uh, frank has already gotten our cable spliced in here this is for ir control so on one end we're going to have a an ir sensor we're using the pro control pro 24r and the pro link r which will allow us to control the TV without the customer having to point it. So like say they're laid back in bed, they don't have to worry about the pillow being in the way or whatever. Um, we're also, while we're here, there's just a couple cheap surge protectors down here, which was fine whenever it was all old equipment um, because there wasn't a huge asset to protect. But now that she has some nicer equipment going in, we're gonna put in this quality uh, Watt Box surge protector and they guarantee up to $50,000 in protection and this will just give the customer peace of mind that if they do get hit by lightning that the TV is not going to get knocked out and we're just going to get the TV unboxed and this bracket which should work for the new TV as well bolted to the back and hung up on the TV. So we decided uh, in this particular situation because there is a console down below and we didn't have an in wall box to recess this we want the TV to sit as close as possible to the wall. We're going to go ahead and take the extra time to fish that connect cable down through the wall so it can plug into the connect one box and make everything just look you know as clean as possible so we're going to use one of the old hdmis just as a fish pull line and get this ran down through so we just finished uh just finished running the three wires here we have the our new uh emitter uh line in the new hdmi and our connect cable that's going to go from our tv to our uh, connect box from the samson tv so guys, this is the surge protector that we're going to put on this. This is a good quality TV, so we want to make sure we protect the customer's investment. Uh, Frank just checked to make sure that we're going into a stud. That'll just ensure that, you know, as things get moved around over the years, it doesn't get yanked out of the wall. So anytime you're upgrading your devices, guys, it's important that you look at all of the devices in line. Your amplifier needs to be up to spec, your device needs to be up to spec, the TV needs to be up to spec. So this customer has an old 1080p Apple TV. We're going to pull that out, put in a new 4K Apple TV, and we are also going to replace the cabling with new 4x4x4, 18 gigabit per second HDMI's. When you guys are buying a TV or anything from us, keep all of this in mind. We do have all of the equipment available for you. Cabling, amps, speakers, anything you need to complete that installation and make sure your system is prime time and ready for game day. 
Okay, so we consulted with the customer and we're gonna try to get all of these devices off the top of this and we're gonna try to put it inside so that everything's hidden and looks really nice and clean. Uh, we're also gonna put in a new 4K Blu-ray player because she had an old DVD player. I uh, just get everything in the system up to today's current standards. We'll uh, show you what it looks like after we spend some time arranging everything and getting it nice and tidy for her. Okay, check it out guys. So we're actually gonna get all these components in here We're gonna put our receiver over here on the the side that has the vents built in and the open back so that we can make our connections and give the amp breathing space We're gonna be putting our Apple TV our direct TV as well as we're gonna put the uh, Pro control processor the pro link R down here for radio frequency control and then we're gonna put our connect one box here and we put in the new 1000 ES Blu-ray player down here below and then the customer's old VHS May seem odd, but you know she has some old family videos and stuff like that We're gonna get this connected into the system so she can use it if she wants So we have old school new school everything's gonna be nice and tidy in here Frank's working on getting it connected up behind we got kind of a wiring mess right now, but it will start to look good here in a minute That's the Dream Media difference. All right, so you guys can see, Frank did a really nice job of getting this all tidied up. We also didn't want to make it too tight to where if we do need to service it, that the units get unplugged. Um, but everything's, you know, got a, a zip tie on it or it's coiled up just to make it look a little bit better. And also just, you know, kind of be able to tell what you're, you're doing back here. We got all of our new HDMIs in for our devices that are 4K. And then this is the surge protector here. I have all of our devices surge protected going into the one outlet here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get the TV mounted up on the mount. It's as easy as that. It is very important that on the back of the TV you use the security screws here. See right here. If you don't put those in, the TV will fall right off the wall. We're just gonna get those screwed in and we'll get our wires routed through the wire channel so that the customer can swing it around as they'd like towards their desired seating area. I like how they put these hand guards on here, guys. It's really nice whenever you're mounting the TV. Sometimes when you're holding it on the edge, it feels like you're gonna crush the panel even though you're trying to keep your hand right here. So they just go through that extra precaution of putting that on there to make sure that you don't damage the panel when mounting it. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the plastic off for the customer, make sure that there's no fingerprints and we're gonna get it leveled out and pushed up against the wall. Then we'll make all our connections to the television and test it, make sure we're 100%. check it out so you can see uh, with this particular TV and the mount that we are using in this situation the customer has the ability to direct their video towards their target seating area over here over here very easily or straight ahead um, in the bed whenever they're relaxing uh, it also looks completely flush mount when we push it back just like we're about to do now So you can see in the back position, it actually does sit really flush still. And we're gonna go ahead and throw a level on it and make sure that it's level with earth. You can see, it, uh, it's not bad for a full motion bracket. We have ones that actually inset in the wall as well if you want it like super close. But you can see in this situation, it's not really necessary because we have this fireplace that sticks out in the, the shades. It's a, it's a good look, and we got it level with earth. We're going to go ahead and check our audio settings, video settings, test all the macros on the remote, and make sure everything's transitioning very smoothly for the customer. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Just wait. It's pretty impressive.
he has a, a quantum processor. What? Quantum oh. processor. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Look at that picture, very vibrant. Alright guys, well this is the final installation, uh, unboxing as well as installing all the customer's new equipment on this 900R. We got the Sonos hooked up as well as search protection on the system, amplifier uh, that was already hooked up, connected down here below. And we had to use the first four HDMI's that supported uh, DHCP 2.2. And then over here we have our new um, Blu-ray player. The UBP X1000ES. We have the customer's old VHS hooked up for family videos. And then we have the Sonos up here, which also has a line out of it into the surround sound system, this 5.1, so that the customer can stream their Sonos to this room in addition to the rest of the home. If that's something that they would like to do, they can also, also uh, airplay to the Apple TV directly. Take a look, the TV installation turned out very nice. This is a full motion bracket, so it has the ability to be moved around towards the target seating area. This TV sits really nice and flush to the wall. The customer can rotate it out towards the target seating area, but you can see in most situations it'll be flush mount. We did level it, as well as make all the audio and video calibrations based on the room. If you guys like this video, Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you'd like to purchase this product or any other products, we have receivers, projectors, TVs. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Give us a call or shoot us an email. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.